Netflix just released a 10 episode documentary on Formula One. Wait a minute, is it a documentary or just a reality TV? Perhaps it's the recap of 2018 season with some additional behind the scene footage. In today's video, I'm gonna talk more about the latest Formula One series, Drive to Survive. Stay tuned. Drive to Survive is a collaboration between Netflix and Formula One Group. In fact, it's co-produced by Media Liberty themselves, the company which owns Formula One. I must admit to my struggle to understand the thought process behind the name Drive to Survive. Is it to depict driver's insecurity to retain his seat? Or is it to highlight the risk involved in racing? As this documentary covered a lot of on-track accidents, and the tragic incidents of Jules Bianchi death. It's no brainer to understand that Media Liberty motive was to attract new viewership into the sports through the seamless audio and visual experience. But for that, they could have done more events like this. I guess Media Liberty has same problem as me. They need more viewership and I need more subscriber. On that note, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. The documentary is engaging in parts, chiefly because those candid behind the scene footage and it's sleek editing. It's refreshing to have a series capturing all the highs and lows of 2018 season and watching all those action from a different angle for the first time and inside not normally given into Formula 1. Something like this would be unthinkable in Bernie's era. For Formula 1 fans, watching 2018 on-track accident all over again could be tame and standard stuff. But foolproof background score with some sharp editing yields some good moments in the series. The tussle between Christian and Serial Abitbull, Roman Grosjean condition, or the situation with the mechanic after that colossal miss of Haas pit stop when the stakes were too high is pure gold to watch. But moments like these are far and few. As a whole, this cocktail of on-track action and interviews is vanilla at its best. After all, slow motion action scene with gripping background music can take you only so far. It almost feel lame to see Media Liberty mounting Formula 1 on accident and some behind the scene interpersonal interaction to attract new viewership into sport. Millennials are smarter than what Media Liberty thinks them to be. Why it didn't talk about what it takes to do a one perfect lap in qualifying? How the pace of the development of car during season impact on track battle? How much calculation and precision goes into making the car go fast on each track? Why it doesn't give the glimpse of the technology which goes into these cars? Hybrid engine, aerodynamics, brake by wire system, and how the front nose of the car is used to generate the vertex. Okay, maybe vertex is little too much for the first season. All these and dozen other questions was swimming in my head as I hobbled towards the last episode of the series. After all, it's all these things which make Formula 1 exciting and unique as compared to other sports. The idea of coming up with something like this is plausible, but I doubt the maker's outlook towards Formula 1. It was kind of amusing for me that the documentary covered the fight between Haas and Renault for 4th and 5th place in the championship, when at that very moment, the bigger fight was going on in the front for the championship title, that too between the two iconic brands, Mercedes and Ferrari. But it was blessing in disguise in a way, because it allowed the other teams to get their due deserved attention and limelight. Having said that, hopefully these two iconic brands, Mercedes and Ferrari, will participate in the next season if there is any for the 2019. It's that part of the video where I have to ask you to subscribe to my channel. I hate doing this and I don't have to tell you how to click a button to subscribe. So please, please make sure you do it. Thanks. To conclude about this 10 episode series, the B-roll is exciting at some places. After all, 2018 season has all the sweeps, melodrama and tragedy, but there is nothing particularly interesting about the series for someone who follow Formula 1. We already know how power play and politics is embedded into Formula 1 DNA. If you are new to Formula 1, I suggest you watch Rush and Senna before you choose to spend around 8 hours to watch Drive to Survive. And since you are new to Formula 1, let me add my two cents over here. 
The formula part of the name Formula 1 refers to the set of the rules that racers and racing team must comply. The one part represents the fact that it's the highest category of racing in the FIA, comprising of fastest and most advanced cars. I told them. So that was my opinion of Netflix documentary Drive to Survive. Let me know what you think of it and what's your opinion about my opinion by writing in comment section. Please like this video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.